Do you guys know this weird creep? Freshly 18 and he DM'd me on Instagram. This 34 year old who likes to DM 18 year olds and try to fly them out to LA. So when a homeless person asks for money, then I give him like a fake $5 bill. No? Okay, well, let me tell you. Do you remember a few years ago when there was a new app that was gonna be coming out? A dating app for people who are only conservative. They did a background check to see if you were conservative before you could even sign up. The name of the app was The Right Stuff. Today, we brought in a group of conservative young women and wanted to get their honest opinions about what they're looking for in the guys they date. Lies. Because when this app came out, they couldn't even find any women to join. So much so, that there were articles saying conservative dating app The Right Stuff is allegedly all guys. And users were contacted by the FBI. I'm a patriot, that's why I'm on this dating app. I use this app for hardly an evening, and is it a coincidence I get a call from an FBI agent the same day? And the person who started this app was this guy, John. John McEntee, an American political advisor and was part of the Trump administration. You might know him as the person who said that he gives fake money to homeless people because it makes him feel good. I always keep this fake Hollywood money in my car, so when a homeless person asks for money, then I give them like a fake $5 bill. So I feel good about myself, they feel good. And then when they go to use it, they get arrested. So I'm actually like helping clean up the community, you know, getting them off the street. What a freaking evil idiot. It says this app has a 4.0 rating, but I definitely do not believe it. There's no way. How can an app be good when people are saying the user base doesn't grow? What are you looking for in a partner? They just have to be a conservative. Definitely someone that wants to have kids. I like an independent man. Personally, I like the alpha male vibe. His Instagram has 1.8 million probably bought followers. His TikTok has 3.3 million followers. And the only reason I know about this guy is because of his TikToks. Right now, my TikTok for you page mm, is beautiful. It's nothing but Moodan clips and that giant penguin, Pesto. But every now and then, I see somebody reacting to one of this guy's TikToks. We constantly hear about social security running out of money. Why don't we ever hear about welfare running out of money? That's good, thank you. So the Pope says you can't vote for Trump because- Did you wait for somebody to start slicing cheese into his food before he even started recording? This guy's TikTok is completely ridiculous. All he does is sit and eat. He's always eating. Pasta, pizza, why is he constantly at a restaurant? Why did Taylor Swift- The freak, why, why is he cutting pizza? I like how in every single video he's wearing his own merch as if people are gonna see this and be like, right stuff, what's that? Let me download this amazing app that has no users on it. And it's also really weird that the person who created the app is the person promoting it, but not really promoting it at all. All he's doing is complaining about the world. Ever notice that the health experts Democrats tell us to listen to are always 400 pounds? The health, what is he talking about? Dr. Fauci? Does he look like he's 400 pounds? There's something really unsettling about somebody who's always just about to start eating. He's picking at his food. He's not putting it in his mouth yet. He's pre-folding his pizza, ready to take a big bite. But he's also relatable. He gets ice cream when he's out by himself. Oh God, wait, is this the same day? He got two different types of ice cream? He has no redeemable qualities in the slightest. Good news about all the illegal immigrants coming to the US. Crime rates are dropping fast in South America. Oh, but the reason I wanted to talk about him today is because not only is he a weird guy that likes to give fake money to homeless people and complain about liberals while he's taking tiny little nibbles of his food, but someone just recently posted a video talking about how she was contacted by him from his main page and she's only 18 years old. This guy on TikTok, he makes like really insufferable videos that are just stupid. Well, I decide now to I gotta call him out. So she explains that she was freshly 18 years old, a freshman in college, and he DMs her. I was a freshman in college. I was freshly 18, and he DMed me on Instagram. This is his page, 1.8 million followers. He says hi, and she says hi. What school are you at? Can I send you merch? What the freak you talk? Why are you sending people merch? Just paid my taxes. Roads should be fixed any day now. For context, he's 34 years old. And you know what? I'm a college student, so I was like, I want a free sports shirt. So, I so she says what school she goes to, and she says she loves the merch because who doesn't want free merch? If you're in college, why would you want to pay for new clothes? Who wouldn't want a free hat and hoodie? And listen to what she says now. It does, but I got it for free, and this sweatshirt's actually so funny. I have my boyfriend wear it because it says, dump your liberal boyfriend. 
but like I crossed out the dumps and then it says you're a liberal boyfriend. Anyways, he was trying to fly me out to LA, kept asking. And he's like, I think you're a liberal. I am. But he didn't care. As long as you're fun, he doesn't care. And I wasn't being serious. I was kind of trolling. He's trying to fly 18 year olds out to LA because he gave them some free merch. And it doesn't matter what your political alignments are because if you're fun, it's fine. Have some merch, come stay at my place. He's even trying to include friends. If you and a girlfriend ever want to come hang out to LA, let me know. My treat. We would love to. We love LA. Oh, okay. Let's do it. He was so confused. He didn't even realize he could ever get that close to getting someone flown out. He was like, oh, really? Okay. For somebody who owns a dating app, you're still trying to slide into people's DMs who are 18 years old and trying to get them to fly out. Then he DMs her his number. You can text me or just DM. So that was October. And then November comes. And he says, come out over break with a winky face with the sticking out of the tongue. And she's like, I got family plans. Winter break? Okay, you're sounding desperate now. He seems pretty lonely. Is that why he's always eating by himself, complaining about Victoria's Secret's fashion shows? The Victoria's Secret fashion show is back and the body positivity movement is over. Apparently men didn't find 400 pound women attractive. Who could have guessed? Don't go licking tiny spoons. And then she says, what about spring break? Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Did you get your hoodie? I think you're a liberal. <laughs> no, I haven't gotten the hoodie yet. Would it matter? As long as you're fun, I don't care. Another month goes by, he says, hey. And again, come out over break. And she said, okay. And he's like, I'm serious, me too. She said she has a boyfriend and she gave the merch to her boyfriend. So she was doing all of this to just troll him. But the desperation. No wonder he looks so sad eating his burrito by himself. If America really is the most racist, unbearable place on earth, why does everyone want to move here? You sad, miserable man. I like how one of his videos that he had up on his page before, I think when he was trying to promote the dating site, it was like one of those about me videos. It's like he was doing like a dating profile, but he posted it on TikTok. It's since been deleted and you'll see why. Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm searching for love. Hi, this is my boss, John. He's searching for love. See that little goofy wave? And I'm looking for someone who I can spend the rest of my life with, or at least the rest of my probation with. Oh man, what a cool guy. He wears suits at the airport while using his phone. He leans up on pillars. He puts extra gel in his hair just so his hair doesn't move. How is he single? I, I don't understand how he's single. He seems like a catch. The sound was taken off of this one. I'm not racist. I love minorities. Which minorities do you love? White people? Nice, yeah, good. You should have posted this. To all the feminists out there, being aggressive and rude and generally unpleasant doesn't make you a strong woman. It just makes you annoying. Round of applause for John with this creepy smile. Oh, I froze it at a terrible time. He goes out to eat every single day. He likes to fly 18 year olds out to see him in LA. Hates feminists and minorities, but he's single, so. Perfect, thank you. Enjoy, thank you. If gun-free zones work, why don't we set up rape-free zones? Okay, again with the guy shredding cheese. How is he just saying this in public and thinking that he's some sort of scholar? Why do we only judge white people for owning slaves when every culture had them? The person behind him looked like she was about to say something. Saw someone else call him out, so it's my turn. Oof, I want to see who else called him out. I'm just addressing some comments. So first I just want to say thank you. I didn't expect it to get all that attention. So thank you everyone for supporting me. And so some comments would be like, well, it's not illegal. You're right. I never said it was illegal. I said it was weird. Anytime somebody says it's not illegal to try and go for an 18 year old, check their hard drive, okay? The man is 34 years old. What is he doing in the DMs of an 18 year old? Well, count is based on hating liberals. Yeah, he wouldn't care if I was. So you're right, it's not illegal, but it's still weird. And people, and people were like, well, you continued responding and let him on. You're right. I did. And honestly, go me. Actually not, it was stupid. I don't know why I did that, but in the moment I found it funny. And so I did it like, I grew up on Roblox. So I literally troll all the time and I literally just brought my, my Roblox activity back out. So yeah, I did troll him. And maybe it was stupid, but at the moment I found it funny. Cause, and also, I was getting free money from a creep. And also, his videos are just stupid. So, like, 
free money I kind of needed in that moment. Yeah, just wanted to say thank you for the support and just wanted to address some of those comments. The amount of ice cream this guy eats on a regular basis is very concerning. Why do a gender reveal if it's not a human yet? 